20 yards downhill. Top end of that long shadow. I spent yesterday just going through some of my gear, making sure that things are working, deciding what stove I'm going to take, things like that. So, yeah, totally engaged. Uh, my mind is in it and um, going to have some fun. If you noticed, I paused like after the shot and just held my position and didn't move and that's a really really important point when you're uh, when you're hunting um, after the shot just just stop because that animal is going to be confused doesn't know uh, what happened obviously didn't know you were there or quite possibly didn't know you were there and you might have a second opportunity if you need it I think I have a stump right, uh, let's see, there, somewhere, and I am going to uh, try to get it. It's like 35, 40 yards, and it's uh, a long shot. I know, but I'm out here to have some fun, so let's shoot that thing. was just high. Well that was low, but uh, let's see, the trajectory, probably about eight inches. <sighs> I'll make sure I know where my camera is. Heard a big crack. Is that a bear there, there's? Oh yes. I see my camera. A little bit to the left, but uh, hit the stump. You know, when I uh, tell my friends and family about this uh, upcoming hunt hunting trip, I um, am often asked, are you bringing explosives or are you going to bring your sticks and string? And of course my answer is always my sticks and string because that's where my passion is. I want to ensure that I give myself the best opportunity possible to harvest, harvest some meat. And this is super challenging for me, for anybody, to be able to close the distance on an animal, a prey animal, whose spidey senses are so in tune with the environment around them. To be able to close that distance and get into that environment and uh, be able to make that shot that is a challenge and uh, you know to fly into a place to have 10 days to allot yourself 10 days to really commit and be present in the area not have anything else to do or anywhere else to go um, that is an opportunity for me to challenge myself and um, and just see if I can make it happen, if it will happen for me. I hope there's animals in the area. If there's no opportunity to scout, we're just kind of going in blind and uh, some details from some other stories and other hunters that have been in the area. I think I'm going to take a little break and, um, and get some other practice in because I'm tired.
my arms are tired from tuning in my bow earlier at the gravel pit and I've uh, shot several stumps and yeah I think it's just time to change gears a little bit and uh, I think I'll add that right here right now. That's right I've been packing bagpipes around because I need to practice. My friend has asked me to play at a uh, function that she's having and I'm honored to do it. It's in memory of her son. And she is just such a wonderful woman and her heart's broken. And I want to make sure that I'm ready and I can honor her request and her son's memory best I can. Wow, that was the first time I played that tune on the pipes. I'm happy with that. I know it wasn't perfect, and I didn't expect it to be. In fact, I did a lot better than I thought I was going to do. But, you know, it's, um, it's like anything. Muscle memory. Focus, focus, focus. Focus on that shot. Focus on the tune. It all comes together. It does all come together in the end. Just commit and do your best. So with that, be good. Be safe and be kind.